very happy to share with you the installation of the Curator CE733, which now comes in OVA format and is a breeze to install compared to the previous version of it. So I'm going to open mine with VMware Fusion, which is what I use. If you use VirtualBox or whatever else, you, you'll know how to do that. Uh, so click here, click continue. I'm going to put it in this directory that I have prepared for it. And this is going to take a minute or so. I'm going to post the video to make the video shorter. I forgot to mention that in the video description, there is a link for you to download this beautiful OVA. So let's do the customization. First of all, in terms of memory, the documentation asks for four cores. Uh, if you can, give it at least eight cores. Uh, in fact, I'm going to give mine 10 cores to have a better performance. Documentation call for eight gigabytes. I'm giving mine 24. You should give at least 16 gigabytes. If you're going to be downloading apps and you're going to be doing queries and some stuff, let's make sure you give it uh, as much memory as you can. Now, in terms of the networking in VMware Fusion, I'm making mine part of this network, which is Bridge. If it's not, you select appropriately. I have a video that talks about VMware networking, but you should know your, your way around these things. The hard drive comes with 250 gigabyte minimum. You can give it uh, 300 if you want, uh, because this only allocates the disk as it needs it. So, so that should be good enough. You click OK and ready to do play. This asks me for an upgrade. Why not? Go ahead and upgrade it. And this is going to take about a minute or so to give you control back. That wasn't even one minute. And then you need to do the first login using root, of course, and it's going to ask you to set the password. This is the password for the command line when you're going to be doing SSH or getting into the command line. So put something that has uppercase, lowercase, and uh, some numbers in there, uh, special characters. It should have a minimal number of characters as well. And now that password is set up. Now, what you need to do, this is the only tricky part of the whole install, is set up the networking correctly because the installer will validate that and will complain if, if, it, if it doesn't. So the best way I, I found to do this is to use the network management UI utility. You just call it by that, NMTUI. And you're going to edit a connection, so you hit enter. You're going to do tab to move to the right to do edit. You're going to rename, you need to rename this to your Ethernet 0. Now it is called ENS33 in my system. If yours is different, act accordingly. You click Tab to move down until here. You hit Enter to say, I'm going to do this manually. So you don't want to use uh, DHCP Curator. Console doesn't like uh, dynamic IPs at all. So now you click tab one more time to go to show, keep tab to go to addresses and put the static address of your curator image. In my case, it is this one. So I need to hit enter. 172.16.60.10. And very important, you need to specify the, ma the subnet mass. So in here is a CDAR range and given the 24, which is equivalent to 255, 255, 255, 0, right? You need to give it a gateway. In my case, it is this one. You need to give it a DNS provider. I like to use Quad9, so I hit enter. Quad9, 9.9.9.9, .9 and I'm good here. Now I click hitting tab until I go to IPv6. I like to set this one up. I hit enter. I'm going to put ignore. I'm not going to be using IPv6. And now click doing tab until I get to OK. I'm here. That is done. I keep tab until I get to back. You may want to verify that you have a host name with a dot, meaning it's fully qualified. You cannot make it larger than 64 characters. That is good enough for me. And now I click 
sorry, I click OK, uh, click Quit rather, and I'm good with the networking. To test, to make sure that you are fully good, ping something on the outside. I'm going to ping Google, and if you get a reply, you are golden and ready to do the installation. You should be in the root directory, but nevertheless, you can put root slash setup. Then it's going to present you the EULA. You hit enter. You need to make sure that you agree if you want to read all this. That you, you need to make sure that you agree with the, that EULA. You go all the way to the button. Click Q as in quit. And then when you hit enter, you will be accepting the EULA. Then you need to say yes here to you wish, you wish to control and this is going to do its magic all by itself. I'm going to pause the video. This should take around, it took 49 minutes in my, in my machine the first time I did it. So I'm going to pause the video until then. So this, this took 49 minutes exactly in my system. Now it's asking you to do the admin password. This is the password for the UI not for SSH, but the UI. So you select a, a password that is strong enough for the demo. It asks you for the password to be confirmed. you are good to go. Now if you open a browser and put the IP address of your box, of course this is a self-signed certificate, so you know how to deal with that, and you can actually log in with the admin password that you just set up. Now there's one thing, the instruction calls for a reboot after you've done the installation. Of course it asks you for the EULA again here, uh, which you accept and then you, you'll be in Curita. The instruction asks again for a reboot of the machine, uh, which there might be a good reason why they asked for it, but uh, apparently you can still log in in it. How you do the reboot? Well, you go here into the admin and you're going to go here into system and license management and you're going to select this one, click here, action, shut down system or do restart system, whatever is it that you want to do. So I'm going to do restart. Now, one thing that it's that I notice in this uh, image is that the shutdown or actual reboot takes a good 10 minutes. So I don't know why is that, but uh, be patient. It, don't think that your system is broken or anything like that. Uh, it just uh, takes a long time, right? Now, in case you are not aware of, in the video description of all my videos, there is a, this link in the, that um, is also, again, it's going to be a link to the OVA, but it's going to be down there, a link in here. This is a public box account that I use to put material that goes along with my videos. You go to the second page, and there is a PDF, this one, in which is an index of hundreds of videos on QReader. Right? Here are the PFSense ones, and there are all sorts of topics. It's a lot easier to download this file, do a search, either by subject or doing a search in the PDF, and then clicking on the link to use your QReader CE733 image.